Hey guys, this is Pin Master. And now the the top 49 favorite Kid Icarus Uprising weapon types. So yeah, I've been playing Kid Icarus Uprising a lot recently, and even with the weapons I have, I still starting to place a lot. So I do, and I do enjoy the variety of weapons it has. So, however, which of the nine weapon types is my favorite? Well, you'll see. Okay, so this will be a top five, not a top nine, because. Yeah, there are, yeah, the, I just want to give five, because, uh, V, I don't want to give a top nine, I just don't. Uh, so, yeah, let's listen to go. Number five, the cannon. Well, really because the other four, I don't really like that much, but, the, yeah, the four that didn't include in this list, I didn't really like it that much, you I don't understand it that much. But the cannon, it's, it's pretty okay. Although, it gives, gives you, uh, really slow. Yeah, even though the cannon is, is quite slow, uh, yeah, it's, it's it's okay. My preferred weapon in the ca in the cannons is the ball cannon. Uh, yes, the ball cannon doesn't explode when you shoot it. However, I noticed that a lot of cannons don't shoot, uh, don't explode when um, when you shoot it. It's kind of ironic because the wep the cannon is supposed to be the weapon the weapon type that when you when you, th you throw around when you shoot around it explodes. But really, not all cannons do that. Some cannons do. The dynamo cannon does. So, yeah. If I could give you clips right now, here are clips. Uh, the ball cannon. It's, it's. I guess it's pretty good. Um, I do enjoy the ball cannon. Uh, it. It. It's like a pirate cannon, which is kind of funny. And yeah, pirate cannon for the win. Uh, the dynamo cannon. It does explode stuff. The rail cannon does not. I don't remember the others, but yeah, it's pretty good. Number five. Oh. No. Number four, the gun blade. I don't care if it's called just blade. It's a gun blade. I don't care what anyone says. It shoot. Uh, it shoots and it's a sword. So I call it a gun blade. Hey, I look at the handles uh, of of the of the blades. They're all art. Uh, they are um, angled. So uh, it's more of a gun than a blade. So yeah. The, yeah, these blades are definitely the proper choice of Nitos Commander, especially when he wants to be like Lightning. Okay, uh, out of the five I have at the moment, my favorite one is, uh, is the uh, Samurai Blade because that's this actually because it's like a, it's like a um, really angled katana. Uh, I'm, I'm not quite sure what it shoots, but uh, yeah, I can't really tell what it shoots, but um, it does shoot uh, arcs of whatever. And yeah, no, though the particular center that I have is four and a half star melee. I don't know if that means that um, it, it gets stronger in melee, or if, or if um, it's easier to get close to it for a melee attack. But yeah, I actually do a, uh, do a, like the samurai blade. Also, I recently got this uh, bullet blade. Look at the bullet blade. It looks just like a gun. <laughs> yeah, it's just like a gun. I mean, it has ammunition. Like, what the heck? So, and it does kind of sound like you're shooting bullets, so, yeah, it's kind of, it, it's, it's kind of cool, so I'd really, like, enjoy it. Okay, um, yeah, let's just move on. The uh, number three, the bow. Yeah, the, the bow is actually pretty good. It, um, it's not that bad, but, uh, eh, I, I, I say it's not that bad. Of course, the really only reason why I did the bow, because I required this Hawkeye bow, which is a, um, Five, five and a half star ranged uh, bow, meaning that uh, I can probably hit it according to uh, the game. I can hit it through about fifty three point two meters. So and that should be awesome. It also has um, plus two petrification, meaning that I can petrify people at at maximum up fifty three point two meters. So yeah, it's a pretty excellent long range weapon, especially combined with let's say um, the homing boost. Yeah, I, uh, I can actually quite hit people far away. Even though the shots are quite a bit small, so unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, it's not like wide area effect, but it is pretty good. So yeah, it's it's, a, it's a pretty sweet. Okay, number two, the orbitars. Yeah, the orbitars are a really a really strange weapon uh, because um, like the claws, they're the um, they'll come in um, in twos, in pairs. I've had that. Uh, yeah, that's and does those two shots of one. When they are meant for ranged. In the intro for for KUO, I did have a shock orbitals. However, um, since then I've acquired a, num a number of pretty good orbitals. 
Uh, like for example, my, one of my favorite ones is the Guardian Orbitals, which is, a, is a, which is a bit strange among the orbitals in that its charge shot is a is a um, is a, shield, a giant shield, giant energy shield that doesn't travel very far, meaning that uh, I think kind of like the melee of the uh, yeah, I think the, like a melee orbitals kind of. So there's a, even though it's a range range shot, it's still like perfectly suited for like melee. Especially for like, uh, if you like stand still and do a charge shot, the shield, the energy shield does not move. But um, yeah, when you do a dash dash charge shot, you do get the uh, uh, it moves a bit. But I do, uh, yeah, I do really do enjoy the uh, the garden orbitals. It's just it's kind of a strange thing though. But yeah, it it's pretty cool. Uh, also, I find this joke weapon called the paw pad orbitals. I call it a joke weapon because. I don't know, you don't seem to find it reliable, because what it does is it shoots paw, pad, um, paw pads, like, bouncing a bit. Yeah, it seems like it's bouncing paw pads, even though they're, they're ranged shots. Uh, which, of course, is a bit unreliable if you want to shoot, like, high, higher up, but however, it does shoot an arc, which is, um, ridiculous. It's, uh, I don't know, I find it kind of, kind of, yeah, joke weapon. Okay, now, for the real thing. Number one, my favorite weapon type in Kinex Uprising is the Palm. Yeah, I do really like the Palms in, in this. Uh, my, fav my still favorite Palm, and therefore my favorite weapon in the game, is the Midnight Palm. The, by Midnight Palm, I don't, know, I don't know, it's kind of a new thing towards the moon and darkness. I don't know, I, I, I don't know if it's my thing now, but whatever. And plus, the Midnight Palm that I have... It does um, have burning properties, so it, which is kind of odd because I'm kind of an ice guy, and I, 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 my favorite weapon burns, but it's not because of the innate, um, innate burns. It just has it has the burning properties. Uh, there are weapons in KU in KIU that um, have innate burning, like the ball cannon, like I mentioned, or I think it's the ball cannon I mentioned, or something else, or like the burning palm, which um, does burn innately. Of course, why why they call it burning palm? But of course, the burning palm that I have, you can also petrify, so you can also pretty cool. Also, recently, uh, I've acquired something called the Viridi Palm. Uh, this Viridi Palm shoots hearts. Yeah, in a game that you collect hearts as money, this is a weapon, this is a palm that shoots hearts from your hand. And it's a, it's, um, the one I have is a four and a half star range um, Viridi Palm. Uh, the the dash uh, continu continuous shots are hearts, and the um, the charge shots are like flowers. So yeah, pink flowers, so, like the Marluxia of the of the game. I don't know the Marluxia about the scythe, which is kind of which is kind of cool. Also, according to the stats I have, um, it has uh, plus one weakening. I don't know what it, not quite sure what it does. What do you mean by weakening? But I think it just means that your opponent's weakened. I don't know. That's just what I assume. Of course, the weakening apparently does not happen as much. Um, I'm trying it right now. The, um, the, the weakening doesn't ha happen too often, but it's actually pretty good. So, yeah, these are my favorite weapon types of the game of uh, Kidigris Uprising. And, uh, yeah, before I end, uh, before I end the video, I just wanted to say that I have um, this one, one last palm. One last palm. The Ninja Palm. <laughs> this is literally a Ninja Palm. You shoot kunai at people, and when you um, do a charge shot, you shoot shuriken. And when you do like um, a charge, a backdash charge shot, you you throw a giant shuriken at people. Yeah, you a giant shuriken Naruto style, sort of. Okay, you know, I know that. Okay, okay, it's better than Naruto style. So you actually quite it's quite really quite awesome. So I really I really enjoyed the the palms. They're just ridiculous, ridiculously awesome. Okay, okay, okay. Enough uh, saying how awesome. Palms are, even though they are awesome. Okay, time to end this, end this tops episode. Okay, finally for number fifty, tops up uh, uh, tops fifty, my favorite Kanto Juliet remixes. See you guys later.